like I mentioned in the chat, we're going to be waiting a few more minutes just uh, for some more people to join, and then we'll go ahead and get started. And today we're basically just going to be talking about like some of what an HS Navigator is and what it does. How does it sort of help high school students find the help and find the programs they need to succeed? So yeah, we'll get started in a few minutes uh, as we let some a little bit more people join in from the last webinar. So I know it went a little late. All right, um, we waited a few minutes. I think we can go ahead and get started now. Let me actually share my screen. It might be easier to see the slides that way. Um, wow, and switch over to here. All right, so let me just quickly make sure that, yeah, everything's showing up. That's good. So, Yeah, let's go ahead and start it. So today, what we're going to be basically presenting is talking about HS Navigator, what HS Navigator is, what the com like, what the sort of like website, the foundation, the company that we made that actually started this YFG program, what that is, and how that sort of can help you guys, and what the what the site does, and how it can help you guys plan your future, get some more opportunities, and get some more like just get a lot of stuff exposure to things that could help you explore your passion or figure out what your passion is to do in the future. So like always, we always have this disclaimer in most of our like presentations, just saying that we're not the authoritative sort of shoes. Except for this one, we are sort of we're the ones who created the HS Navigator website, but there might be some inconsistencies in the website itself. So we try our best to make sure that all our information is accurate, but we're human too, so we might make mistakes. So what we're basically going to be doing today is just talking about what what made us start HS Navigator, like what what's like spurred us to create HS Navigator, um, how you can sort of search opportunities on that web, on HS Navigator, the different, like the listings, we're basically going through a lot of different features on the website as well. So like searching opportunities, the listings, um, the Young Scholar program itself, um, volunteering leadership opportunities, as well as um, future projects and requirements that we have for this website. So what are our plans for the future going on from now? So I'm just make sure that everything's showing up correct. Cool. So for the history history new pages now. So it started with um, give me one second, guys. Actually. Um, Sorry about that. So for the history of HS Navigator, it started off at my sophomore year of high school. It was just me. It wasn't, we didn't have a team yet or anything. It was just me and I was trying to look for summer opportunities. And I go to a really big high school, not like as big as some other ones obviously out there, but I go to a pretty big public high school. You know, we have around 5,000 students in the school and we don't have enough counselors to accommodate all of those 5,000 people. I mean, most schools fall under that problem because there's just not enough funding for them. So that's when I decided, well, I was looking for my own summer opportunities. I might as well make a platform for it just to have for me to store for later. Maybe if a few friends want to ask me, I can help them with that. And then we went on to my junior year, and HS Navigator was live for the first time. We started off with only around 500 opportunities, which is just stuff that I had found, stuff that I found for a bunch of different like programs, mainly CS. And we added those 500 opportunities to the website, put the website live, 
And we actually started getting a lot of reviews with a bunch of different high school counselors, mainly the ones in my area and the ones surrounding in New Jersey. The next year, in my senior year, was when we really blew up. Um, we added like opportunities for creating your own listings. We had over 3,000 opportunities in our databases. We had volunteer opportunities. We had ways to add listings, like your own custom listings. And we had now gotten like responses and reviews from high school counselors literally across the country from all 50 states. And now I'm going to my freshman year of college, which is like last year. Um, we started our first Young Scholar program, and that Young Scholar program was basically focused on computer science mainly, but had some different topics with it as well. And we actually finally got HS Navigator with legally registered as a nonprofit organization, so we are actually a nonprofit now. We grew from being just a website and just an idea to being a nonprofit. And now this year we have our second Young Scholar summer program, and we decided to focus not only computer science but medicine, business, and a bunch of different fields that people might be interested in. And we now have over 5,000 opportunities. So 10 times from our initial amount in 2019, we now have 5,000 over to 500. Now these opportunities span all 50 states in the US as well. So the next thing that I'm going to go about is just some sort of the features. The next few things are actually going to be features of the website itself. So the first main feature that I wanted to go over was search sort of search opportunities. And so search opportunities is how you, one of the main features that they just navigated on the website. It's the ability to find any opportunity, any program that you want related to your interests, related to your needs, and related to the specific things that you need out of it and you need from that opportunity. So you can actually search for opportunities based on a wide, wide variety of different things. You can search for opportunities based on their program name. So let's say you know a specific program and you want to search up some information about it. Search out by program name, by the type of the program, whether it's a summer program, an internship, a scholarship, a competition, anything like that, based on the grade level that you are. So if you're looking for programs targeted towards like a freshman, junior, sophomore, seniors, then you can search for programs like related to those as well. You can search for programs um, based on like free, stipend, paid program, like based on how much the program costs. And all these are stackable. Like you can choose any variety of these features that or any variety of these filters that I'm talking about. So let's say you only want to search by program type and fees. You can do that. Or search based on multiple fees, multiple grades, multiple different program types. You can do that. All of these are fully customizable to whatever you need to find your opportunities. Um, you can search based on duration of the program, based on like one week programs, programs to take up the entire summer, or anything like that. Um, the topics that you're interested in. So let's say you really want to do stuff on AI, or chemistry, computer science, business, journalism, art, the arts, um, anything like that. You can search for topics based on those. Um, you can select a university person. Let's say you know you want to try to go to like Princeton or Rutgers or Purdue. Then you can search for opportunities based on those universities. Try to get in on seeing how you like the university, how you like that environment, how you like the programs that those universities are providing. And then you can also search for search by states. You can search in your space specifically if you don't want to like, you don't have the like, ability to move really far away for a program, you can search within your own state. You can search within like different states if you want to go to California for a summer. So you can see, try to see if there's some the opportunities there. And just some more information about those. Like, so we have like for the types of programs. So you can look for anything from summer programs, and all of these have opportunities based on our database. You can find summer programs, internships, scholarships, um, competitions like International Math Olympiad, International like Science Olympiads, different like Olympiads and competitions like that, and volunteer opportunities as well, which we'll talk more about later. For the topics we have topics in basically every variety of like. Every variety of area that you're interested in has a topic related to it. So you have stuff about the arts, like the creative arts, writing, English, music, drama, photography, philosophy, religious studies as well, um, business, like accounting, entrepreneurship, fashion, um, health. We have biology, medicine, pre-med, nursing, sports medicine, if you're interested in that, technology. We have AI, engineering, cloud, technology, and the, and the web. And for social sciences, we also have stuff on history, journalism, psychology, teaching, if you're interested in becoming a teacher as well. We have these topics from a wide variety of areas. 
grades, we have some middle school opportunities as well that we added recently. Obviously, if you're a freshman, sophomore, or junior, or senior, the opportunities for you guys as well. And you can select multiple grades as well. Let's say you want to find programs that are targeted towards freshman to senior year, you can find opportunities like that too. And I'll actually show you guys a sample of the kind of website looks as well. For duration, you know, you can find duration programs that are just like one day, like one, just a one-off opportunity, or programs that are like multiple weeks, multiple days, and anything like that. For, you can find programs that, let's say, like your parents are only comfortable with you going to opportunities that are like boys only or girls only thing. You can find opportunities like that as well. Fees, I know fees is a big problem for a lot of people with these summer opportunities because like, I personally, me too, I wanted to find free programs. I didn't have the money to sort of like go out and go to a paid program, although those can have their own benefits as well. But programs that are fee or programs that give you a stipend actually pay you, those are programs that a lot of people are really interested in. So we want to make sure that we have the opportunity to filter by fees as well. And then states is obviously, you can search from any state that you want. You can search from multiple states. And if you look on the right, that's actually a statistic of how many opportunities we have from each state. And as you can see, we have opportunities from all across the country. In some states, we even have hundreds of opportunities within them. So there's plenty of opportunity to find things to do near you and things to do in other states if you're interested in visiting them. Um, universities, let's say there's like certain universities you're interested in, like NYU or um, like a technical, like a technical state college near you that you know you can go to, or so like UC Berkeley, any call, any of the colleges that even that we even have these alumni talks for. If you're interested in looking at more about the university, you can apply to a program at that university, do it, and see how you like that program, like the environment there. You can search for multiple universities as well if you're trying to find the universities near you. And this is sort of general, like, I'll show more about this when I actually like show you the demo on the website. But this is how the website looks when you're actually trying to search for these opportunities. You can look for program names, the program types, the grade, the gender, fees, duration. All these different areas are available here for you to search from. And this is sort of a sample of what that like, actually looks like um, on, from an actual like the, the website standpoint. So you have like the name and opportunity and a link to it. You have the program dates. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and show this. I think that'll be a lot more beneficial for you guys. So let's say I go to hsnavigator.org. Um, and this is, once you go to hsnavigator.org here, this is the main page that shows up. And all I have to do is click search programs and you get taken to the program searching site. So for program names, let's say we look at this sample of, like opportunity here. This is like just sort of one of the first opportunities that shows up for us. And this is an example of how it looks like when you're actually searching for those opportunities. So let's say I want to find a program that I've done in the past, AI for, we search for that program. And we have, once we search, the results all come up here. And you can actually click more results if there are more results and it'll load and it'll show more and more results as they come up. But essentially here, um, we have, this is what, this is what the opportunities look like in the search results. So the first thing is you have a link to the program itself. So you can actually click on them and see, okay, this is the program. This is some information about it. This is the actual website for that program. If you want to read more about it, short little bio about that program, its durations, its fees, what grade that it's like targeting towards It's targeting towards current freshmen. Some of the topics that that program is about, like artificial intelligence, computer science, engineering, science. It's a summer program. It's in California, Stanford, because it's a Stanford program. The dates of the program are June 27th to July 15th, so it's already over. The application starts at this date, due on this date. You can actually have a contact for that program. It'll actually, like once you click this, it'll take you to an email link. You can, you can email the help, the help section of this program. And there is even like direct apply links for most of these programs as well. So like if you click here, once you clicked on that apply here button, it took you directly to the application link and you're able to fill it out, take, take whatever it needs and then send the application in directly from there. That's, so that's a new thing we've added in. A lot of people have really been asking for that and that's something we decided to add in afterwards. So yeah, that's basically like the state, city, um, programs, duration, fees, current grade, everything like that. 
next thing we're going to go over is actually one, one last thing for this for these sort of opportunities another thing you can do is you can actually if you see here you have links to like actually like send these things to facebook to send emails to them everything like that but you can send this to an email you can uh, send it on twitter send it on facebook anything like that that you want to do you want to share this program you can actually do that as well and you can click the heart icon and favorite the opportunities to, to your own like favorites list here so if, if you keep like liking a bunch of opportunities you like and then you want to look compare them all at the end you can just keep liking them and then at the end click this favorite button and see everything that you want to see yeah so next thing we're going to go over is the my listings and the first things for like this my listing is to sort of create an account because what this allows you to do essentially the my listing feature is create a personal listing of opportunities that you can add to the database and you can add for yourself. And then once you add those opportunities for yourself, you can actually have your own personal listing and have opportunities that you, that you, like you personally added as well. So like, let's say you know an opportunity in your local high school that you wanna add, you can add that opportunity as well. You can send it to your counselor and they can add opportunities to your high school as well. You can also add a custom listing of your own that I'll show later as well. So first thing you have to do is obviously make an account. If you click on that icon on our website, you're taken to this screen where you can register, make an account, and then once you make an account, you'll get taken to this page. So I'll actually show a lot of this first before I go further into it. So let me first put my mouse. A buggy right now, but I'll click here. And I already have an account sort of made. So for you guys, what you do is you go here to register and then you'll like sign up to register and then confirm your password and then you'll it'll send you a confirmation email as well. So you can log in. And here is what that what that page looks like. So this is the My Listings program that shows up whenever you log into your account. And essentially what this My Listing lets you do is it lets you add custom opportunities. So say I have an opportunity in my high school that I call like local high school opportunity and it's a summer program for let's say this is completely made up of information I'm just trying to show you guys what this can do and it's free and you can add any of the other information it's zero dollars um, yeah and it's at whatever this university is and then we click this plus button no actually no, once you click this plus button that's what lets you add opportunities so you click the plus button and then you add in, let's say your program name is local high school opportunity. And it's just opportunity at your high school. You can add in the program emails. You can add in your contact emails, URL supply, everything that we have on our actual website, you can add into here. And then you can go ahead and say, say it's a summer program. Add, add that program and it shows up. And now you have that opportunity showing up for you that you can add to your own listing. Which for people, for counselors as well, it's really convenient for them to do that because they have that sort of opportunity to create their own listings and create listings for their own high school students as well that they have near them. So it's something that's really powerful for them if you wanna send this to your counselors. And there's also a tutorial about that here on our YouTube channel as well. Or if you want some more information about how to go about doing that. So you can add the programs, click add, and you can find more information there. And that's essentially the my listing. And another thing about this my listing that's actually pretty pretty powerful is this um, this ability here. So let's say you go to the programs, right? Once you're logged into an account, then let's say you search um, AI for all again. Once you search AI for all again, you'll now notice there's this new checkbox that shows up at the bottom of all these opportunities. If you click check, let's say I want to click check on a few of these opportunities here, you have the ability to say my collection only, you click search, and it'll only show the ones you'd like. So it's kind of like the favorite option, but it's for like your own collection, so you can, you can save to your account as well. And then you can also click CSV, this one up here, and it'll actually give you an Excel file with all the information about that program, its name, its URL, 
its age group, it's the gender that's for, the fees, the start date, end date, program start, university name, the topic, the programs, everything that you need to know about that opportunity, you can actually just click this checkbox, this checkbox and add that and actually save it as CSV, which is something that's another really powerful tool. And more about that uh, in terms of like the website itself. So in terms of like the actual HS Navigator website, we obviously we have seen the search programs opportunities. But you might be curious about what these other tabs on the top are. Um, let me check this question before I keep going. All right. So you might be curious what these sort of other opportunities in the top are. And so the other opportunities that um, show up are, let's say we look at a leadership tab. The leadership tab essentially shows all of the people who are the leaders of this program. A lot of you guys, you've probably seen these people when they're doing their presentations this summer. So those are like the sort of leaders of this program. And as these as these people graduate college, there's always more opportunities for more more leaders to show up. So if you guys are interested in being a leader and being a member of the leadership team, then we, please feel free to reach out to us and contact us. And you don't even need to be like a good like computer science or anything, uh, like a good computer science or anything like that to be a leader on a leader at HS Navigator. A lot of the people who are on our leadership team are not actual computer science majors. They're like doing different things that they want to do. But we have so many opportunities and stuff like marketing, stuff like outreach asking your counselors, having that sort of outreach and ability as well is just as important as making new changes to the website. So if you, like, if you guys are interested in being part of the leadership team for us, leaders are always coming and going as they graduate high school. So if you're interested in joining, then please feel free to contact us. The next tab is the reviews. And essentially what I was talking about before when we emailed counselors all across the country, we actually got reviews from those counselors as well. And if you keep going, you can see counselors from all across the country just telling us information about like how they like the website, how they like the tool and everything like that. And you can just keep going and seeing like um, counselors from all across the country just giving their giving their up give their opinions, giving their information, giving how they like the website. So something that's really nice for us to see and really cool for you guys to see as well. About people actually using this website. So the next thing that we can do is the blog. And the blog is actually something that's really important for a website. So the first thing you guys should do is once you go on our website, everyone should do this, I feel like, um, as soon as you can, especially with this Young Scholar program, is to go on our website, go to this blog link, and subscribe. Because subscribing is the best way to figure out like what new opportunities are coming up, what new volunteer opportunities, what new features are coming onto the website. Because every single time a new feature is added, we make sure to up update this blog and update the blog with all the information that you guys need. So if you want to keep up to date on the newest things with the HS Navigator, please subscribe to this blog. We also post regularly about like our registrations, some new features that are being added, and we also um, have this. We also started this new thing this year called the newsletter. And essentially, the newsletter, what it is, is we gathered a bunch of opportunities that um, we gathered a bunch of opportunities that were having a coming up due date. So let's say this came out in March. These will all be opportunities to have a due date or an application due date within 30 days of March, so for the next month. And these are opportunities that we thought were really cool and they're really interesting. And we decided to like split them up based on opportunities, split like internships, summer programs, competitions, and then publish them as a list for you guys to share around and for you guys to apply to so that if you like weren't sure about where to start looking for opportunities, we would send out this um, newsletter for you guys to look at some new opportunities, look at some upcoming opportunities and apply to them. Because if they're coming up in a, in a if they're coming up to application due dates in a few months, then you might as well apply, you might as well try them out as soon as it catches your eye. So since that's a new opportunity thing that we started, and it's only for people who are subscribed to our blog. So if you guys want to be or if you subscribe to our blog or to our newsletter, then we, this would be sent out automatically to you guys. So if you guys want to keep out and get this newsletter as well, then please feel free to subscribe to our blog. Um we have a young scholar program link from last year. So we can actually see the, the recorded lectures from last year. And as like this program this year finishes up, we'll make sure to update it for this year as well. And then we also have this volunteer page, which this is something that's really important for a lot of you guys. And the, since we're registered as a nonprofit now, we can actually provide you guys with volunteer opportunities. And these can actually count towards volunteer hours as well if you have stuff like NHS at your school. Essentially what, we, what volunteers for HS Navigator do is we collect data from these various universities and we update our website. So you don't have to know computer science for this, but essentially since we have so much data, so much information on our website, 
we need people that will help like update these opportunities for new year because as a new year comes, these opportunities are going to change. You're going to have new due dates, new information, new changes to them. So in order to keep those websites updated, keep the information updated, we really like if you guys want to do, be volunteers and help us like change up the information and your feature stage navigator if you want to as well and update that information. And you can find more details here and you can actually register to be a volunteer here. And all you do is just send in some information and we'll actually like we'll make sure to like check you guys out and if you guys are if you are available and if you want to be a volunteer, we'll add you as a volunteer to update these opportunities. And you'll get the opportunity to take a look at a bunch of different like programs we have per state and update them and look at new opportunities and actually explore opportunities that might be related to you as well. So it not only can it help you guys, but also help Aegis Navigator help more people out there with having the best opportunities and having the most latest opportunities as well. So if you need volunteer hours or if you just want to like help us like make our website better, then please feel free to do this to volunteer at our website. And we're still taking volunteers even now. So I think that's enough about the website itself. We can go more into some of the new things that we've been doing with the website. So one of the newest things, like obviously that you're here right now, is this Young Scholar program. Let me just check for questions. All right, I think we're good. So Young Scholar program essentially is what you guys are taking part in right now. We have trainings, we have student alumni talks, we have quick tips, career tips, and helpful tricks like this one, like this website, this webinar itself. And in 2021, last year, we had only IT seminars, only CS seminars mainly. But this year, we decided to sort of expand our horizons. We wanted to go to business, healthcare, and things like that. We wanted to get a student alumni talks to help you guys get insight about how universities are, like up, hand, up, up close and personal. We wanted to give career and helpful tips as well. In the future, we plan on expanding even more. As more and more people want to come in, more and more people want to join this opportunity, then we'll have like a seminars from all across the like a broad spectrum of education. Um, we have volunteer leadership opportunities, like I mentioned before. So volunteers, we actually will provide the volunteer hour certificates that you need. If you do to do H, um, uh, NHS or anything like that, then we can actually provide those volunteer hour certificates because we are a nonprofit organization. And you guys will like work on adding more opportunities and updating these existing opportunities. And the leadership, you know, from the leadership perspective of things, the old leadership team will like obviously as they graduate college, as they graduate high school, will be like they'll they'll move out and move on to their own like bigger and better things. So then you guys, if you guys want to work on HS Navigator and be part of this leadership team, there's always roles moving around. There's always changes being made. So you can please feel free to like try out and like feel free to like actually try to become part of our leadership team and help us improve this website, provide ideas to improve the content and interact with your school counselors as well to get more, more ideas, more feedback, and more just help this website help more people out there because that's what, we're, that's what we were created for. We were trying to help people and help people find their opportunities, find their passions, and help counselors as well, find, help students find their passions, find what they want to do. And the last thing we want to talk about was sort of future projects and requirements. So in the future, what we want to do is we want to add stuff like college counseling. So like having like college counseling opportunities, um, like ways for students to like find out like which colleges they want to apply to, some essay help or anything like that. That's something we're trying to work on for the future. Um, like we mentioned before, some of the stuff with medical school. So adding like some medical school opportunities specifically for like DO programs, MD programs, like how to navigate the med school application process. We wanted to add just more opportunities as well. More opportunities is always better. And then just improving the website itself to use more latest technology. So we want to like have like maybe use the cloud in our website, or maybe use different like different ways to make the website easier to use and better looking as well. Because that's always a good thing. If the website looks better and it works better, then more people want to use it. And yeah, that is essentially all that I want to cover today in this sort of like quick webinar about HS Navigator. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel ask them now. And so like leave some time for questions if you ask any. If you want if you have questions by the way, you can send them in like the direct message or the QA or the chat or anything like that. But also if there's not any questions, then we can feel free to drop here. It can leave you guys a little early. And yeah, that should be it for the Aegis Navigator program this week. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, if there's no more questions, which it doesn't look like that there is, um, we'll go ahead and end, the, end this webinar here for today. And thank you guys for attending another week of the Age of Young Solar Program.